Yo guys, what is happening? Welcome back to the channel. Today guys, I just want to say right at the start of the video, I've actually created a new Twitter. I've opened the Discord um, again, so if you guys want to be able to chat with me, um, the best thing to do, instead of leaving comments on the videos, which I do see from now, time to time, but go and join the Discord, follow me on Twitter or follow me on Facebook. There's three links in the description. Click one of those, whichever one you prefer using. And I hope to hear from you soon on there. So today, guys, what I want to talk about are the patch notes we have got for zombies already, guys. It's a very early patch. It's kind of good that Treyarch aren't messing around this year. So I want to talk about what's changed in zombies. I've come out with various videos saying some things which need to be changed. And I'm glad to report that some of these things are going to be changing. Plus, I want to answer a few questions which people have said in some of my other videos. So there's been some gameplay balancing in zombies and basically what they've done they've increased the player health by 50 in every single mode so regardless if you're playing in casual or if you're playing in normal you get 50 more health so casual now is 250 normal is 200 as you can see the gameplay in the background i'm playing on normal i've got 200 hit points so yes that is amazing we kind of needed that really but you know nonetheless let's get on with the rest so there's been an adjustment to the rate which player earn points so how it works now is basically how it worked in all the other call of duty so basically you get points for hitting zombies not just when you kill them so when you get to the later rounds and zombies you know are bullet sponges and um, you're going to earn a lot more points and i can already report guys you get a lot of points you know initially um, and that helps you know unlock the doors it, it kind of gives you a better gameplay experience now the next two guys are the biggest for me in this update so they've adjusted the tiger attacks now i've been one hit killed by tigers and i know a lot of other people have been one hit killed by tigers i've seen it in the threads forums reddit ex except well etc and they've changed it so tigers aren't going to be able to one shot you anymore they haven't actually told us what the damage they do now is but you know it's better than being one shot i, I should imagine nobody's going to get one shot now from full elf with tigers if you do if that's happened to you since the patch which went live earlier today let me know and we'll go from there so there's been a balance as well to the hellhounds several balances this is the spawn radius of them the speed and the frequency now the speed was an issue because the dogs would actually be able to outrun you even with stamina up so that is crazy you know <laughs> you know once a dog had got you it was crazy but the frequency was also an issue you know when i got into round i believe 30 on blood of the dead there was literally 20 odd dogs spawning all at the same time and yeah it was a nightmare so they've got rid of that um and and that is really it guys um there's nothing else really to talk about these are the gameplay balances they've made and right at the end of this video, guys, because I'm going to keep it short and sweet, there's no point me, you know, making this video any longer than it needs to be. I just want to be informative, get the information out to you guys. But the thing I want to tell people about, because a lot of people have been complaining that the Pack-a-Punch weapons aren't really that powerful, and I'll agree they wasn't powerful, but, guys, something what a lot of people don't know is each and every time you Pack-a-Punch your weapon, it gets 25% more powerful. So you can do this up to a maximum of four times. So in theory, you can pack a punch a weapon four times and it will make it 100% more powerful. That's my tip for the day, guys. A lot of people didn't know that, but if you've been having issues high rounds, um, you know, that should help you. Even though I think in this game, the rounds, especially on Voyage of Despair, I got to around, what was it, 50 a couple of days ago on a live stream. And it was taking 30 minutes around at level 50. And that is way too long. That is something I think they need to look at. Um, but yeah, that is it, guys. So thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed, if you want to you know, hear more about zombies, hit that subscribe button. And if you've enjoyed the video, leave a like. That's always appreciated because it helps my channel grow. But until next time, guys, thank you for watching. Have a great evening, all. Goodbye for now.